Welcome to LHG's Aquarium, everybody. Today, I want to talk about the 150-gallon refuge tank on the 1,600-gallon system. I received some comments from Respy on an earlier video asking to talk about the refugium tank more and show some close-up footage of the refugium tank itself. Before I do that, though, I'll just briefly talk about the 150-gallon refugium tank. It is plumbed into the 1,600-gallon system. It has its own JBO return pump and a single inch and a half drain. I keep this tank very simple. All the live rock that I purchased for this system went into the tank. It's live rock from the Gulf of Mexico. There's an unboxing of it. And if you look at the rock then and the rock now, it looks completely different because of all the macroalgae growth that has been going on here. It really is shaping out to be some beautiful rock and the macroalgae is there just looking amazing. And the mantis shrimp is actually right here. The mantis shrimp lives in here along with some other residents that came in with a rock, mostly limpid snails, a couple of astrea snails. As far as other equipment running the 150 gallon refuge, I keep it pretty simple. I got a Vortec MP40 on this side of the tank that's on full power. It does get kind of clogged up from time to time with some macroalgae. That's okay. I want to keep really good water flow in here. It seems to help all the macroalgae and it keeps detritus from building up in the bottom of the tank. As far as lighting goes, I have Sola LED floodlights that I keep on here. I got them on Amazon. They come in a few sizes. I can't remember which size this was. I believe it was a 60 watt. They're fully waterproof outdoor capable floodlights and their color temperature was 5,500 to 6,500 K range, which I find is excellent for growing macroalgae in my experience. Let's go ahead, dive right into the refuge tank and show you guys some close-ups of the macroalgae species and the animals living there. The first thing I want to talk about today is the mantis shrimp in the 150 gallon refuge tank. The mantis shrimp is the first resident of the 150 gallon refuge tank and as you've seen some of the feeding videos on occasion I feed this mantis some live food but for the most part this mantis shrimp gets fed frozen foods either silver sides chunks of shrimp sometimes I'll do a little bit of clam there are some other residents in here you could just see the legs right now. I do have a green serpent star that's living in here. And I put that in on a hunch that it could possibly be bioluminescent, but thus far I haven't seen any yet. In either case, it's just a good member of a cleanup crew. Uh, I will caution though, green serpent stars do get quite large, are capable of eating fish and other inverts. Uh, don't worry about the mantis too much because I've already seen them kind of have a little battle about food and the mantis won. As that serpent star gets bigger though, I'll ultimately move it into one of the other sump tanks, probably the 265 gallon. That way it can pick up any of the scraps that come out of the overflows in the other tanks and clean that up for me. They are very efficient in cleaning up excess food. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff that's going on here in the 150 gallon refugium tank. You notice it had this beautiful green macroalgae kind of waving in here, and it's not a, a hair algae. It's not chato either. Try to zoom in here. I haven't identified this macroalgae yet. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I saw one in the book, I believe it was a shadomorpha with an S that it possibly is, but I haven't really taken the time to do a full identification. In either case, it's a really nice flowing macroalgae. The macroalgae can also start off as some smaller, finer branches that come off the rock. You can see a few of them here. There's some halamita, some red macroalgae. There's another example of it there. And about 90% of the macroalgae that you're seeing here all came out of the live rock that I got. With the exception of about five different macroalgae, I would say there's over 30 different species of macroalgae that I've seen that have come out of this rock. It's just beautiful. It's got a wonderful look to it. I got browns, I got reds, and I got greens that have come out of it. Overall, I'm really happy with what's been going on in this refugium tank. I did have a little bout of cyano I talked about a while ago. I did a chemi-clean treatment on this tank and it did a great job. 
took care of it in a couple of days and I went ahead and put it back in line and everything's been good ever since then. One of the other unusual macros that came in on the live rock was this species of Calerpa. Not exactly sure what it is. I had a little bit of difficulty identifying it. It's very fine branches though. Let's zoom out here so there's a little bit of Calerpa Calerifera off to the side here that's the long green blades so you can get an idea of the size. It's a much finer Calerpa but it's been kind of starting to take off here and I'm going to let it grow and do its thing. I don't really stop any of the algae from growing in here. I let them all go. I want this refuge to be an area where all this life can kind of take off. And as you can see there's a ton of coralline algae on the tank and only being a few months in it's a really good sign for me. That's a close look at the macroalgae in the 150 gallon refuge tank though. Let's see if we can find some of the other small life that's living in here. Right now you're looking at some isopods on the front glass of the 150 gallon refuge tank. In addition to those there's also copepods and amphipods living throughout the tank with some mice and shrimp as well. Now these animals are key to eating detritus and microalgaes and it's very important to keep a sustainable population of them in the 1600 gallon system. While they do grow and breed within the rocks, the 150 gallon refuge tank provides them a space where they don't have predators. Now while the mantis shrimp is in here, for the most part, these are not considered a meal item for that mantis. That's a quick look at the 150 gallon refuge tank. I hope you liked today's video, and if you do, go ahead, hit that thumbs up. Let me know that you like the content. If you want to see more on the 1600 gallon system, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the next video.